Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at how to build your own PC, and this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the parts that you need to make that happen. Now, why would you want to build your own PC? It's so easy to go online to a company like Dell or HP or Apple and just pick one out of the lineup. First of all, if you buy a computer online, you may not be getting exactly what you want. So by building it yourself, you have the ability to pick out all the parts separately and put them all together and get exactly what you want. Secondly, it can be real fun. It's like a hobby. You can think of people that work on their car all the time or build something from scratch. Well, here's your ability to do this with the world of PCs. So to get started, you'll need a few crucial components. First of all, you'll need a motherboard. To go with the motherboard, you'll need a processor or your CPU. These two things are like bacon and eggs or salt and pepper. They're inextricably linked. You need the two of them together in order to make this computer work. And making sure that you match the two properly and get exactly what you want in order to perform what you want your computer to be able to do is very important. Next, we need a case to fit everything into. Now, I'm putting this after the motherboard because the motherboard is a certain size and shape and you want to make sure that you match your case to your motherboard. And we'll show you how to do that in an upcoming episode. After that, you'll need a power supply which powers everything up. It'll connect all the other components that we see here. You need some memory or RAM in order to remember everything that your computer is doing when you have it powered on. For long-term storage, you'll also need a hard drive. Now, this is where all your documents go, your videos, your movies, your Word documents, anything that you want to store from session to session, unlike the RAM, which clears out at the end of the session. Now, you may also want to consider an optical drive for your system. We've got a Blu-ray drive here, but you can just get away with a DVD writer, potentially. It's the thing that'll write discs on your system, CDs and DVDs, and read things that you get from other friends, or just even DVDs if you want to watch a movie on your system. Now, you also want to consider an audio and video component. It may come on your motherboard, but you may want to look at other discrete cards, like a Sound Blaster audio card. In this case, we have a Radeon video card, and that'll provide you with higher quality video and audio for, say, gaming. Now, when you're building a system from scratch, you can also look at some higher end components like liquid cooling uh, for your CPU, or you can look at LED colored cooling fans for the outside of the case, or just lights to go around that. We're not going to look at that in this series. That's going to be something that we look at later on in a modding series. We're also not going to take a look at monitors, mice, and keyboards in this particular series. Those are the things that plug into the PC. In this uh, series, we're just going to take a look at building the PC itself. And we'll take a look at those other things in another series. Don't forget to check out the show notes on this series at butterscotch.com, and don't forget to check out the other episodes in this series where we'll take a look at each of these components and show you how to put them into the system.